everybody is Shar from Shar's Fashion Nation. And, you know, it's a beat of must stay in the neighborhood. It's a beat of must stay in the neighborhood. You just can't hack mine. You can't hack mine. You can't hack my everything. Um, <laughs> is so good to be able to bypass them at a specific point and booyah hit them with it that's right and you know why they're not that intelligent they're they're smart but they're not that intelligent being smart and being intelligent are completely different things oh my gosh so yeah. <laughs> Especially like when you, you're just like, oh, let's just put it this way. It, I was about to upload a different video, but didn't have to do that. Did not have to do that. And you know why? Because I got past them. And I'm glad I did. And I monitor them all the time using glass wire. Glass wire is, and this is a non-sponsored uh, video, glass wire is an app that monitors your uh, activities in case somebody hacks into your devices. So I do use that to monitor my devices and know who's doing what and on what devices rather it's a laptop tablet or a phone so a uh, glass wire actually does help to keep them at bay by monitoring their activity and knowing which ones of your apps they're coming through Oh, yes, the bottom of the screen of Glassfire, it will actually show you which apps they're using to get to your devices. You can use it on your phone or you can use it on all of your devices that you have. And, and I believe that the Roku TVs, since those are smart TVs, you can do that on there. I, I'm i just making a guesstimate on that one. So since you're actually able to use a Roku TV as a source of being a computer, that TV is a computer in itself. The only thing it needs is Wi-Fi. So um, I don't have a Roku, don't care to have a Roku. I've heard some not so great things about Roku's. <sighs> My death wish copy. Yeah. Um, but I am glad to have control over my devices to a point. Now the other one, I still need to get back up and running correctly. So I am going to have to see about systems bypass for my bigger one. Um, next year is a new year. Oh my gosh. Let's see. How many days do we have left? I believe we only have five. Um, let's see. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. We have five days left in this month. Isn't that beautiful? Five days left in the month. And then it will be 2020. Not the TV show. What in the heck? Look, I know we have paranormal activity in this house. That was weird. This shouldn't have fallen off there. I need to throw this away anyway, but that shouldn't have fallen off of there. <laughs> Having some weird activity going on in the office, I guess. Anyway. Um, my other video was going to be about, you know, K 
couldn't get back into something to get a uh, fellow YouTube creator's address out of there, but booyah, got back in, booyah, got the info I need because that makes my day better. Because I'm going to be gathering after I finish um, sewing that little hat for Randy Ray's little jowie. Um, <laughs> But right now, it's kind of a hit and miss situation with how I'm doing the little outfit for Joey. But I think that outfit is just so cute. I'm working on the hat for it. But before I could get back to working on Joey's little outfit, I had to take care of some internet issue. And um, get it back on track. So, I figured... Uh, what scrap fabrics I do have, if they're wide enough panels of scrap fabric, I'm going to make some stuffies. If people don't like the word stuffy, that's your problem. Um, what? Let me measure that. You said Joey is six inches around, approximately. Okay. I'm just hoping I didn't make his shirt too short. If I did, I can add a panel always add a panel so his shirt is exactly eight inches but once you got to put it around him that still might be a little big but once I lap this part over that actually takes off a little bit to be about hmm, what are we doing here okay going to say eight and a half or seven and a half inches for Joey but that's okay you might want it a little loose on him and let me see about his waist here okay so that's one two three four five and seven inches around but you might need that to get his little feet through absolutely you might need the extra inch just to get his little feet through see i'm thinking about that and that's why i'm gonna put the little snap on the front of his pants and uh work on the little hat so oh my gosh being able to do that oh today is gonna be a great day and again, I don't apologize for the stupid yelling in the background because whatever. It is what it is. So, I deal with this every day. <sighs> and nobody can get me for that because, hey, I was like eight minutes ago started this video before that person came out and started yelling. So, um, anyway, Rindy, I have some extra ones of these. I will send you one. Um, Chris from Kicking It With Chris, I'm going to send you a measuring tape. That's right. I'll send you a measuring tape. Because, oh yeah, that's the bill of little Joey's hat. Little Joey's hat. This will be the bill of his hat. Now, another way that you can make like a hat, kind of make it into a cone. But then it kind of looks like a witch hat. But when you sew it and then you turn it back right side out, it's like that. Still kind of Edwardian style hat. Kind of like Sherlock Holmes. But the other way to do that is just like, cut an inner circle and then again you would just bring that around and bring out the bill of the hat to see but I wanted to do a more traditional baseball cap type of hat so that's exactly what I want to do for that but I really like how the seams came out for this part Yes, the seams came out nice. 
And then I have the three extra little pieces that need to go in here. And I think that should be good enough for uh, Rindy's stuffy's head. Yeah. I had to make sure that was laying right. Um, because I have to lay these in here and then gently stitch them in. Uh, you get the point. You just put these in between. And they're not supposed to be all matchy-matchy to your pattern. Just put them in between. And they're supposed to, like, offset the whole thing. It, it, and it's going to be cool. So, uh, I'll pick individual ones that I think will look great in a specific area. That one might look all matchy-matchy. No, it doesn't. I was afraid that that one was a little too matchy-matchy with the pattern. And I don't want it to be all matchy with the pattern. I want it to offset just a bit. Just a bit. And uh, so, the stuffed animal's head is bigger than his body. So, yeah. Oh, no, I need this one. Nope, that's the wrong thing. Nope. Okay, I'm just doing a couple of things so that uh, people understand. Okay, both of those. Do, 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 do. Get past the hackers. <laughs> And those goodbye. Oh, and Chris, I will be going over to find you on Facebook. I love Facebook a lot more than I do Instagram, in case you guys want to know. I do. I like Facebook more than Instagram, and I have specific reasons why. So, anyway, guys, yeah. guys, gals, everyone. I want all of you to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. And and I really can't help that. But I would need our ash browns too salty. <laughs> but let's not be salty. No. Salt is bad for your arteries. Like, unless you're one of those people that has to have salt in your diet. But if you have a heart problem, you're not supposed to be eating salt. Yeah. Yeah. You're not supposed to be eating all that salt if you have health issues with the ticker. You're not supposed to be cooking with it. And you're definitely not supposed to be cracking that crap onto your food, so. Um. <laughs> or have anybody cook with salt for you. No, that's a mess. Anyway, guys, I'll see you later.